the government. Welcome, um, Madam Anwaiguru. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, Honorable Rigadi Kashagwa, Your Excellency, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musaliam Dabadi, my fellow governors present, Your Excellencies, Cabinet Secretaries, Heads of Commissions and Independent Offices, Heads of Institutions present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. In the past day, two days have been quite enlightening. The topics and discourse resonate deeply with the desire of the citizens of this country envisioned when they promulgated the Constitution of 2010. The dream was that quality services that are affordable and accessible will reach every corner of this nation. I am delighted to note that all key actors from the two levels of government who must take action for us to raise towards 35% as per our theme and the broad objective of this premier conference participated in this conference. This is a clear testament that when we focus on a particular matter together, it is indeed doable. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, let me add my voice and state my key take homes from this conference, and this on behalf of my colleagues. Number one, we should continue to strike a balance between service delivery needs and the revenue shared between the two levels of government. This has been ably shared by Excellency Governors. The relationship between various staff establishments and the optimal levels needed to offer the services must be reviewed so that we don't make decisions in a vacuum. Number three, that the new or enhanced development speaks to an added human resource and has direct impact on the wage bill. Number four, productivity mainstreaming needs to start from the top where we as governors are committing to lead and cascade to the lowest level and requires also a paradigm shift in the ways we do business in our public service. Number five, on the use of technology, that that is not an option and should be a perennial discussion and also implemented. It is proven that the use of technology has many benefits from the reduction of leakages of resources, facilitating higher collective collection of revenue, reduction of processes, and also the human resource. A classic example is that Huduma Center your Excellency, which reduced the time it takes to receive any government services. Number six, best practices and emerging good trends are within us. We must celebrate and embrace them. Let us therefore celebrate and learn from counties and other MDAs that have consistently attained the 35%. Number seven, the mentorship and coaching is key to generational transfer of good culture that all of us must consider for impact. And finally, for the counties, we need to finalize the costing and transfer of functions that have been devolved and as well as their attendant resources. The raft of measures and strategies discussed and agreed upon in this conference and the past conferences must continue to be implemented at all levels of government without which we will be gathered in vain. The issue of productivity being key, Your Excellency, must cascade across even county governments. And on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to give a commitment to the implementation of the, the target, the main target of reducing the wage bill by 35 to 35 percent by 2027. We will endeavor to do that. Your Excellency, we will also review our structures to ensure that they are aligned. We will also commit on behalf of all the governments that will also review 
all the staff that are working in the county governments to confirm that we also at the level of the county governments without any individuals with fake certificates. Your Excellency, that is the only way to improve our productivity. In conclusion, I would like to share from the quote by Napoleon Hill, which states that the starting point of all achievements is desire. Our desired outcome of this conference is to see the wage bill go down. This is achievable. The current administration has given us the space to thrive. Let us take advantage and prove to all the naysayers that indeed the public service is the cornerstone of service delivery. Therefore, let us take a quantum leap and huge steps to take our country to the next level. As county governments, we commit to implement the resolutions arising from this conference. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Next, Your Excellency, we'll hear from the cabinet.